attention. Go. Ready to go in the Prince of Wales. This is Bayer Leverkusen of Germany on the Berkshire station against Agecroft on the Temple Island side. Agecroft up in Manchester, Salford. And they are heading off now for their 2,112 metres of men's quad rowing. And this will be a good test. I always think the uh, boats, the smaller boats without the coxes in, that's the one you want to be up the start and watching carefully. No, you really do, especially if you've not been here to Henley Royal Regatta before. Just so impressed by the boatmanship in these uh, coxes crews. As Tim just said, they're all steering from inside the boat using the foot plate. They move their foot from one side to the other to move the rudder. And really tricky when you're up at 42 strokes a minute, maybe even higher, to keep control of that boat off the end of the island. And it is the crew from Bayer Leverkusen that's got about half a length lead over Agecroft. Um, I was chatting to a couple of Agecroft members this morning and they were saying this crew was absolutely delighted to qualify for the Prince of Wales this week. They've got a lot of ex World class star athletes in this crew, lots of power, um, the powerful guys, but uh, no, absolutely delighted to be here racing this fantastically famous course. They churn out some good athletes at Agecroft, don't they? You look uh, over the last few years, they've had a pretty good production line, they've contributed to Great Britain's rowing squad. So they're keeping an eye on what's going on on the Berkshire side of the water. It looks like it's wide between the booms on the TV screen, but if you walk down the course, or as I did from the car park at Forley Meadows, about where these pictures are now, if you go across in a boat, it's really not that wide. 24 metres from one boom to the other. And just have a look at what's going on on the Berkshire station. The boat there has come all the way across, hasn't it? The Bayer Leverkusen boat. But because they've got such an advantage, the umpire's not going to intervene. He doesn't feel that Agecroft are being impeded. They wouldn't be allowed to get that far across the course if they were neck and neck. Indeed. And, and sometimes, actually, it's quite a, a good mental tactic to get into not into the other boat's water, but to push a little bit of dirty water there where you can see the ripples coming off the blades of the Bayer Leverkusen boat on your right there. They're just pushing those dirty puddles towards Agecroft, just making it a little bit trickier for them to row down the course to get their blades clear of the water. Um, but I think they've got enough of a lead at the moment, Tim, that they don't need to worry about that so much. Yeah, the umpires aren't going to intervene. They're quite happy and Agecroft really when you're that far down you know what's coming your way puddles of water dirty water as you say but good performance so far from the Germans by Leverkusen uh, winning this one comfortably stroke Cedric Kolbach you can see there with the white baseball cap on backwards as has Heinat Schwartz in the three seat Michael Weppelman and then Patrick Stoker in the bow seat, and they're putting together a good race. Yeah, worth noting that Michael Weppelman was a semi-finalist in this event last year, returning to the crew to try and go one further, or in fact to, to try and take home a trophy back to Germany. But they've got a really punchy crew here. Um, from Bayer Leverkusen. They've kept a really intense rhythm despite the fact that they're at least two and a half, three lengths up on the crew from the northwest. Um, you can just see there, it's almost like a metronome, isn't it? It's uh, straight in and back up to the catch to take the next stroke. I think Weppelman will be handy around the boat tent. Boat maintenance is what it's all about, and he's a welding expert by profession and a metal worker. And I bet he gets asked to do all sorts of chores that otherwise you could avoid just because of his area of expertise there. Yeah, uh, but very handy to have around boat tents, as you say. It's uh, I, I always try to avoid getting my uh, getting myself involved with rigging and all the intricacies and boat repairs because it is quite a craft, and uh, you have to have it exactly right. Um, to have your crew in tip-top shape for racing down the course. When I come down early in the morning to watch them often warming up out of the water, I'm always amazed how long, especially at the end, they come just by the bridge beyond the finish, how long they spend with the blue towels on their yellow boats, just <laughs> polishing, making sure that they are in pristine condition for racing. Look good, Rover. Really good, Tim. Yeah. That's, that's what it's all about. And that's exactly what the Bayer Leverkusen crew are doing right now. Um, you, just see the timing there, the way that the, all four blades um, go into the water together. Um, I should say all eight blades, actually, in fact. We are sculling um, and all there in the Agecroft crew together very well, stroked by Hugh Galley. Look at the back of Patrick Stoker there. He and Cedric Colback 
in the stroke seat are lightweight world champions. So we are talking absolutely top-notch rowers in the boat that lead. Prince of Wales' Challenge Cup by Leverkusen of Germany. In front of stewards now, big crowds in. Be hundreds of thousands across the five days here at Henley Royal Regatta. A fair few in already. Still well short of midday here. And the Bayer Leverkusen crew have just started to relax a little bit now. I think they, they've toned down the rating. You can see they're just relaxing up the slide that little bit more and uh, looking very calm for the fans of this journey closure. Nicely done. Efficiency from the German boat. And towards the line they come. Polite ripples of applause. Convincing win. They led pretty much from tape to uh, all the way to the end there, didn't they? That was uh, a good lead they forged at Temple Island and they carried on all the way down the course. So by Leverkusen progressing in the Prince of Wales at the expense of Hagecroft.